Hey guys, what's going on? Money here, and I don't want to talk to you guys about a trend that's been blowing up. Every single place you go, you see it. Um, I'm going to talk about it in a slightly different way than I'm sure most people have on their tutorials, um, so bear with me. The trend I'm talking about today is feather hair extensions. These are like a salmon color that I have in my hair. You can't really tell through this horrible, horrible camera. But um, I promise that's the color. Um, something, I got into feather hair extensions around December or January this year. Um, I thought they were really, really, really going to be great for the summertime. And as the summer went on, I started putting more and more in my hair. I got involved with this company, um, who's run by a really talented girl. Um, phenomenal. I watched a little video on her the other day. Um, and it's called Fine Featherheads. Um, they like, uh, I'll link them in the bottom, that's what I'll do. So basically, there are a few types of feather hair extensions. There are thicker ones, like this, and long, and then there are like thin ones that are in a bundle. This is a bundle and they're tipped like this. There's a few of them in there. And then this one I lost it. And there are single ones. So it's like this. Just a single feather. And you know these can easily be applied in uh, what we call micro -link. They look like these little beads. Um, there's two different types of micro links. Um, there are the ones I just showed you like this, and there are the ones that look like this, and they're thicker. They have like a white coating on the inside. Those are conditioned feather uh, beads, and these are going to be the ones that are better for your hair. I unfortunately really haven't used these ones yet because they're like more of a blonde brown and like a brunette so like a dark brunette and not a light brunette or, or a blonde so I can't use those ones yet um, but I've gotten them done at places and when I have they always use the condition ones which is great um, these beads the ones without the condition and the ones with the condition I think can be both bought at Sally's um, that's why I bought them how to apply them um, you can find a million videos on YouTube showing you how to apply them so I'm not going to do that but I use a regular set of pliers that looks very similar to the microlink pliers that are shown in the other videos. Um, another thing um, that I use that people don't uh, know a lot of the time is I use a really thin um, paper clip. Let me see if I can find it. I mean, it's not even a paper clip, probably. It's probably just a piece of, like, wire that, like, you bought at, like, Home Depot. It's very thin and very malleable. So what I basically do is I take this piece of wire and I make a U-shape out of it. And I will put the bead through here like this and then I'll put my strip of hair through here and then I'll just slide the bead down and it's on the hair. So that's a little trick. Um, like I said, it's probably, you can probably purchase this wire at like Home Depot or something. It's very thin, super thin, malleable. If you can't do this, it's the wrong line. Um, once the bead's on there, you clamp it down with a set of pliers. Be very careful because I've actually cut my hair using home pliers. Um, but, yeah. So, um, I really think this trend is great. I'm going to post a link to the Fine Feather Heads on, uh, below. You can buy them in bulk. Um, a lot of malls are doing specials with it, too, lately. Um, but, yeah, I think it's a great idea and awesome for the summertime. Great for people, you know, who want to express they you know, free love movement, 
And um, if you guys have any questions, just message me. I'm willing to answer them for you. Um, okay, peace and love. Money out.